Welcome guys, in this video I will discuss my favorite penny stock, which by any standard is undervalued at the current price of $3.32. The consensus estimate of Wall Street firms, including Oppenheimer and H.C. Winwhite, is $9.5, meaning 300% upside potential from current levels. But if you can hold this stock for a long term, I see it at 30 plus next year. 71% of the total shares are held by institutions, and 9% by insiders. The risk at the current price is really low. I do not have a slightest doubt in my mind that it is a 10x stock. Wonder why? Listen carefully. The company name is Strongbridge Biopharma PLC, NASDAQ ticker symbol SWBP. And it already has phase 3 successful drug named Recurlive to treat Cushing syndrome. Strongbridge is submitting FDA its new drug application in Q1 of 2021 to start its marketing efforts. Peak sales are estimated at 250 to 350 million annually. The current market cap of the company is $223 million, with existing product sales of $30 million. Now here's the fun fact. There are only two companies in the world with approved therapy to treat Cushing syndrome, but according to an independent review, SWBP's Recorlev has the best clinical properties among all in treating Cushing syndrome. Out of the two, only one company is listed, namely Corset Therapeutics, and have only one approved therapy. Its total sales of $350 million are almost 100% related to its Cushing Syndrome therapy, and its market cap is $3.25 billion. Now think of Strongbridge Biopharma trading near $3 with a market cap of just $223 million. With better clinical profile therapy, FDA approval is almost 100% certain, and the sales potential is $350 million. I think that if anyone can understand the future growth potential of this neglected stock and hold for one year, it could easily 10x according to my research. The risk at the current price is little to none. Now just a quick request, do not forget to like this video to show your appreciation of the content and consider subscribing and pressing the bell notification button to receive instant alerts whenever I post. Your support really means a lot to me. If you want to make money and access our 3x my money in 3 months challenge portfolio, then join on Patreon. Every 2 out of 5 stocks that I've ever covered have more than doubled. The link to join is given in the description down below. Alright, for those of you who do not know the line of business of SWBP, it is a company which is focused on development and commercialization of therapies for rare diseases. It has three products dedicated for treatment of rare diseases, which include Recorlev, Kivisis, and Vildoriotide. SWBP has been in business since 1996. Talking about the products which are the core reason for its revenue generation and strong future potential, it has one product by the name of Kivisis already in the market. Kivisis is the first and only approved therapy for primary periodic paralysis, triple P. It is a medicine whose target market is those patients diagnosed with muscle weakness and temporary paralysis. Approximately 4,000 to 5,000 triple P patients are diagnosed in the US annually. 59% of these patients have weekly attacks, whereas 28% have daily attacks. The total addressable market for these patients is more than $500 million annually. This product of Strongbridge has shown some surprising results in terms of revenues, which are very promising. As per the financial results, it is quite clear that due to Kivisis, SWBP has earned a handsome sum of revenues which has given good earnings numbers. If we look at sales of Kivisis for 2020, it earned $8.2 million in the fourth quarter and $30.7 million in the full year of 2020, which is almost 41.5% higher than the previous year and above than the previous estimation of $28 million to $29 million. The company has set the target of its 2021 revenue to $36 million and it has the potential to exceed peak sales of $50 million annually. The second product of SWBP is Recorlev. It has successfully completed its third phase and is expected that the NDA will be submitted in Q1 of 2021. Recorlev is actually a much bigger opportunity for Strongbridge, which is another wholly owned compound. It is a drug which targets endogenous Cushing syndrome, which is a serious rare disease. This disease affects the whole body and patients have 2 to 5x higher incidence rates of comorbidities. Its medical cost is 7x higher, and even the pharmacy costs 4x more. As per the company's estimation, around 25k patients of Cushing syndrome are diagnosed, 8k are Rx treated, and 3.2k of these patients are not controlled well. In short, the total addressable market of endogenous Cushing syndrome is about $2 billion a year. 
According to the management of Strongbridge, Recorlive, once approved, will get $250 to $350 million from its TAM. The company is currently in a phase of filing new drug application or NDA with the FDA sometime this quarter after late stage trial results are successfully hit. Once the primary and secondary endpoints in September are hit, it will be approved, and the company research estimates that 81% of the endocrinologists in large practices indicate that Recorlif could fill an unmet need, whereas 86% of endocrinologists in large practices are likely to prescribe Recorlif. After a successful and potential cavesis and an upcoming record live after FDA approval, the company's third product is Veldoriotide and is in the pipeline. The product has received orphan drug designation from the FDA and the European Medicines Agency. Veldoriotide may provide the acromegaly community with a new treatment option offering a unique clinical profile and delivery system. Strongbridge has completed the screening of potential long-acting release technologies for Veldoriotide and selected a proprietary formulation based upon PLGA microspheres for further development. Further, three analysts have also given some predictions about growth in SWP's stock price. Craig Hellum has assumed a price target of $9 per stock in December. Oppenheimer and H.C. Wainwright have made a prediction of stock price to rise up to $10, which is an amazing growth. Similarly, Wall Street analysts have also predicted an upside of 115% with a high of 10. CNN business analysts have estimated an upside of 157%. Looking at some figures of its balance sheet, SWBP has $81.8 million in cash and marketable securities on the balance according to our third quarter. And that's not it. It also has $10 million available via a credit facility and is eligible for $10 million more upon the FDA approval of RecordLiv which as per its management, is sufficient to fund all operational and commercial activities till the first quarter of 2023. You'll be surprised to know that 71.18% of its shares are held by the 110 renowned institutions and mutual funds Caxon Corp. is at the top of the list with 12.03% holding, and 9.1% of the shares are held by the insiders. These massive holdings show that the company's shares are in safe hands. In my opinion, SWP is well positioned as sales of Kiwisis is increasing and is expected to reach up to $50 million annually. On the other hand, Recorlive is also at a good position and is expected that its NDA will be submitted at any time this year, which after approval will give a huge boost to sales and should turn Strongbridge profitable in the short term. Analyzing Recorlive if it hits the low end of the projected sales by management, it will still give a revenue of $300 million. The company's share has been up 24% from the date of its Q4 financial results announcement because the company earned more than its targeted earnings. So this is the right time to buy the stock. Considering its revenue return and $223 million of market cap, its stock is still cheap and must be considered before it's too late. As currently, it is being traded at $3.32, which is a positive dip and can give return up to 3x in the near future.